Okay, everybody, I want to do a follow-up about Guy in the Sky News. I'm coming in, actually, to give an officer accommodations. So let's go see if they have accommodations slash complaint forms. I'm going to go ahead and walk on in and see what's up. Must show ID. Hi, do you have uh, officer complaint slash accommodation forms? The lobby. Oh, Bexley covers a bigger area than I thought. Here's the map of Bexley. <clears throat> All the old police badges. Got a couple of those. Some information. We'll go check that out in a second. Go ahead. Well, I was just wondering, is, uh, um, I believe he's a Sergeant Kensick or? Kenefick? Ken Kesnick? Kenefick. He's out. He's out? Okay. He's on medical leave. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Had a baby. He's good. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> um, well, I want to... <laughs> She looks pretty busy today. The only one in there. actually here today to commend officer McCullum badge number 12 I believe it was for doing a fine job Youngstown Ohio murder cap of the world for so long I don't know if it's still considered that it's at least the murder capital of Ohio uh, and the story behind that is apparently uh, the um, mafia from Cleveland, and yes, there was a Cleveland mafia, had been run out of town, basically. So they moved about 60 miles south and east to a little town called Youngstown set up shop there. Actually, actually encompasses a little bigger area than I thought it did. They also have interpreting services available here. All these different languages. 
you're in the area, you need something translated, apparently they can do that. Portuguese, Romanian, Italian, Hindi, French, Farsi, there's all kinds of Bengali, Arabic. American Sign Language, they do that too. Oh, that's fine, you look busy. I'm just filming the lobby. Um, actually, I'm here to say what a good job an officer did. Is there somebody, uh, Officer McCollum, badge 12? Um, he is here today. I can is, give you the on-duty sergeant since Ken fix out. Would you like to talk Yeah, to I was hoping for a complaint slash accommodation. Some places have but, all in yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, give me one second. Absolutely, thank you. Interview one. There is a camera. Oh, nice. Automatic lighting. I don't know what they would need rubber gloves for in there, but uh, okay. They need rubber gloves and lube for an interview room. It must be one hell of an interview. Looks like everything's in good repair here. They're taking good care of my building. And they, oh good, they do have a restroom. Because somebody drank too much coffee today. some rain. How you doing? Just let you know we're being recorded here. <laughs> Pete Brick, I can help you. Um, I followed, well, I was hoping for a complaint slash accommodation form. Uh -huh. uh, she only had a complaint, but so I wanted to speak with somebody about Officer McCollum. Okay. I believe his name is McCollum, yeah. badge 12. Right. Excellent job. Great officer. Okay. I tested him the other day. What did I do for you? Uh, well, actually, I followed him with my dash cam okay. around the neighborhood. He stopped at every stop sign completely. Didn't do the California right. roll. He did the speed limit everywhere. He did everything perfectly. I just okay. wanted to make sure you knew that. And then I was carrying my sidearm at the time when I was around. And then I walked around the police station, and he followed me. He was watching me from the corners and stuff. Okay. So I approached you down here on the corner, down by the warehouse or whatever it is, down right. the manufacturing facility, and uh, approached him. And we had a nice cordial conversation. And I wanted to, I told him I was going to follow up and tell him what a good job he did and everything. And, okay. and uh, just wanted to let you know that he did a great job. And I hope that all the rest of the Bexley police are the same way. They pretty much are. Good, yeah, good. Because I've had real. Try anyway. I mean, I've, uh, what I do is. perfect. No, no nobody's perfect. Right There's only been one perfect human yeah. on, the, on the yeah. planet. Um, but I go around, uh, had real good response in Whitehall. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Smith, I don't know if you know yeah, him or not. Yeah. Great guy over there. over there. But what I do, and he knows me pretty well over there. Um, we, me and a couple of other, my friends, go around the area and we hold our account, our, our public officials accountable, okay. whether it be good or bad. Right. So when they do good, I like to come in and say, hey, good job, excellent. 
And then, you know, if they do bad, I come to the higher ups. I say, hey, he didn't do something right. Well, yeah, because we can't be there 24 7 to see what's going right. on. That's why I got this. Yeah, we try to check <laughs> up on him. Um, good, good. As we get more and more camera stuff, we can even do that randomly. And get <clears> stuff. But uh, yeah, we try, we try to pull ourselves. Do you guys have picture. body cams yet? Not yet. We're working on, um, there's a, a hold up with language as far as how it's going to be used. And there's negotiations, I think, with the lodge and the city on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we should be rolling them out here real, really soon. Good, because good. It, Those it are tends great. to more often than not just exonerate the officers. Um, uh, well, it's it's a lot. Of, don't get me wrong. It's a yeah. lot of stress working 24 <laughs> seven with a camera on. Oh, I can imagine. I mean, because uh, you know, you know, our, our officers are not. Uh, um, they're not angels. I mean, they're, they're gonna they're gonna have some explicitness come out. You need to get in here, Kevin. So yeah, I just wanted to let stop in and let somebody know um, that he he gave me the uh, uh, our Kenefic or Kinsick or uh, yeah, uh, Kenefic is the okay. sergeant. He's yeah. off his wife. Just, That's what she was telling had me. They had a great, so, great. Um, hope so, everything's good with that. But um, yeah, I don't need that. It was I just wanted to let somebody know. Just let us know. So yeah, she said that. Name, sir? Like I'm a, sorry. I don't. Uh, I don't divulge my information. Oh, okay. Never for any reason, unless I'm under arrest. <laughs> okay, you're not under arrest. No, I just going to let him know where it came from. No, he'll know. Just tell him it's the guy that uh, the filmed him the other day. It was only about two weeks ago. Okay. So yeah, just let him know and uh, tell him that I came in and gave him good praises. And like I said, I hope the rest of the Bexley PD is okay. is is the same. Well, we strive to. Good. Like, uh, good. Yeah, I've uh, actually. I had an incident a long time ago over at the farmer's market over on, was it Livingston? And uh, they had built their tents and stuff around my car and wouldn't let me out. Was so, that uh, the JCC? Or over, by the, over by the Brownstone, by the river, down that way. Uh, says, oh, uh, over by Nelson, I think Main it was. Street, real close to the Allen Creek Bridge? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. 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 So I had to get a. A lieutenant to come out there finally after that. They, they, were, they weren't even going to move for an officer. Huh. They were like, no, we're well, they, here. They since moved that uh, operation down to Dawson. Yeah. Well, they uh, uh, they, they block it off. Lieutenant, the after stuff. after this lady that runs the thing was just so irate, she came in and she was just screaming, yelling at the cops and everything. I was like, look, man, I just got off work. I want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, well, he told the other officer, he's like, uh, go ask her if she wants a charge for kidnapping because that's basically <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> and after that was said, the tents kind of parted and yeah. they helped me back out and everything. Oh but good, yeah. but yeah, every every everything I've had to say about the Bexley Police has been excellent. Yeah, so, uh, and your name is Pete Bricky. Pete Bricky. Yeah, I, I get a card. If Mr. You want. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. I love I love collecting cards from sex. You no. Know, who I spoke with and everything. Well, that's not fancy. Huh? Wait, <sighs> as long as it's got the name on there, that's it's all that matters. Good. So, uh, Mr. Bricky, thank you. Okay. Have a wonderful day, and uh, make sure you tell Mr. McCullen that. I'll, I'll call him right now. Yes, sir. Thank you. So there we go. That was Mr. Bricky. He did a wonderful, wonderful job. They, uh, they always seem to be real nice out here in Bexley. Never had any issues. We're going to go over there to the maintenance buildings next and see what's going on with the tags because we bust I busted them the other day for the tags Ooh. Well, I'm glad it quit raining. I was a little concerned about coming out here and doing this in the rain. Didn't want my phone to get wet. So I don't know why this guy's parked here, but uh, we're going to find out. <coughs> I 
And there goes car 56, it looks like. 57 zipped around here just a minute ago when I was pulling in. <clears throat> yeah, that needs fixed. This is one I saw the other day. It's really bad. How you doing today? Good night. Hey, is, uh, is there somebody in here I can speak with? Oh, I'm just picking something up. Oh, okay. It's okay. I thought you worked here. Hey, how you doing today? Um, is is her name April? Is she like the manager over this division? No. Who's the manager over this division? Uh, that'd be probably Brandon, I guess. Is he available? Uh, let me see. Okay, thank you. We're gonna go check that trailer over there. That's the one that had the expired tags on it earlier. Hopefully they've got that remedied. So, Brandon? Nope. Nope, no. I'm a mechanic here, I'm Chaz. Chaz, how you doing? Pretty good, what's I'm, going on? I'm just waiting on Brandon. Yeah? Yeah. Let me go in here and see. Uh, somebody just ran in to get him. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, some, I right. uh, didn't catch his name, older guy, gray hair. Okay. We're running up on the 18 minute mark, not too bad. It's a little chilly out here today. We're on Delmar Drive. See if they can't get these tags repaired, replaced. Waiting on Brad.
Are you Brad? No, Brandon. Oh, Brandon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you, are you the manager? I'm a supervisor. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. Then I can bring it up with you. Yeah. Uh, I was I was uh, videotaping out here the other day, and I noticed the tags on the trailer were expired yeah. for like a month and a half almost. Yeah. We get that fixed? Yes, yeah, Sergeant um, McComb. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the one I talked to about. Yeah, we were out yeah. here talking and everything. Yeah, and we also have quite a few other license plates on order. That's what, you know what? Thank you so much. That was my request. Yeah. I was coming in to see if that was being handled because I, yeah. I noticed that uh, they were still pretty dinged up. I know how trailer hitches are. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if I, the only thing is you don't have a number marker on the back of like 24 or whatever for the vehicle. Yeah. So that's the only way to, to identify that vehicle. Other, I mean, the red plates, other obviously, but you really can't even see it. Yeah. Right. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, obviously, Mr. McCollum did it, and yep. that was all I needed to know. I, I, you know what? Bexley is just on the ball. Hey, we try. We most try. most yeah. places are like, get the fuck out of here, you know, okay, yeah. quit leave us alone. So I wanted to say uh, good job. Thank you. I was just over at the sheriff's department or the police department and uh, and uh, gave Mr. McCollum uh, kudos and accommodations for doing a fine job. So good. same thing with you. Your name was? Brandon Hook. Brandon Hook. Excellent job for the city of Bexley. Thank you very much. Hey, have no a good problem. day. Hey, you too. Get back to work and have a good day. See that? See that, ladies and gentlemen?